Tommy Lee, Ted Nugent. This time it's personal. Plus, we're taking your calls. Stick around. Good afternoon and welcome to Rockfeed. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new here, please consider subscribing with notifications on so you don't miss out on updates about your favorite bands. All right, before we get to the Tommy Lee and Ted Nugent nuclear battle that's going on right now, I'm going to take a couple listener calls. If you want to send in a message, it may be played on the show. You can click the link in the description. We got a message from Julian Purnell. Julian, thank you so much. Hey, Rockfeed. This is Julian Purnell. Uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I go by the name Heavy Metal Joker on Instagram. I do album reviews, a uh, d- bunch of content for Instagram TV, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about is Danny Wimmer Presents and their festivals. Now, there's a festival called Rocklahoma, which usually happens around late May, but it's been announced that it's been moved to September. Now, I want to know your opinion that it, do you, now since Rocklahoma, uh, got moved. Do you think other festivals like you know Sonic Temple, Rockville Epicenter, you know stuff like that will get moved to a later date, or do you think they're just not going to happen at all? That's my question. Thanks for having me, uh, Julian. Thank you so much. So I think that it is possible that these festivals could get moved to a later date. It all depends on you know the local government regulations that are happening in certain places in an area like California. Uh, do I foresee them having a hundred thousand people at an event even next September? I don't know. I think that's a, a hard deal to, to sell in that area. And I think there's a lot of people that are leaving California and you've seen guys like Joe Rogan that have left and they have regulations where they're telling people to put their masks back up in between bites and a lot of stuff like that. Different places have different rules. Could I see Hopefully, Epicenter happening maybe in May. It's possible. It's also whether Danny Wimmer and uh, his great company are going to be willing to make that kind of an investment with that kind of uncertainty like they've already dealt with this year where they had all types of headaches and rescheduling and canceling. And I'm sure that they lost some money on those deals. So it, it remains to be seen. And it's hard to tell personally uh, if this is going to happen. But if I had to guess... I would say they would at least probably be postponed. I don't see them happening in the spring. I see them happening anytime in the summer or beyond. And I think that's why you're starting to see a lot of these being scheduled for September-ish of next year. I'm really hoping that they can make them happen in the spring, though. I want to be at these shows in the spring. And if they do have them in the spring, I know my fat ass will be there. All right, we got another question from Peter Stefano. Hi, this is Peter from Rhode Island. Um, I'm just wondering what your personal views on drive-in concerts. Metallica had one probably about a couple months ago, and the uh, band Guar had one. What's your opinion on that? Thanks. Bye. Uh, yeah, so I like the drive-in concerts. I especially like them if you can sit outside of your car like you're at a normal show. You know, there's some some aspects to social distancing at concerts that can be nice. Not every time that you go to a show, you want to be packed in with everybody. It's nice to sometimes, you know, if you're on the lawn at an amphitheater, you have some space to yourself. There are positive aspects to it. But, you know, there's that story today with people strapping on bubbles where they're, you know, out there wearing these. I just think that's funny. I'm not putting a bubble on to go to a show. Y'all can have that. I'm just I'll be somewhere else. I'm not that desperate where I need to strap a bubble on myself and make an ass out of myself. Y'all can, y'all can, that, that ain't for me. I'll, I'll go watch paint dry or something. So, you know, drive-in concerts though, those can be fun. Those are nice and I don't have any problem with them. I also, by the way, I have no problem with any way that a band needs to make money or wants to make money. Uh, It's a difficult time for them and they should do whatever they need to do to make ends meet during such a different time. I'm not here to judge anybody. I don't like the bubble thing, but live streams, all that stuff, I think that's fantastic. And I would go to a drive-in concert any day. Um, So yeah, I love that. All right, let's move on. Thank you all so much. Again, you can leave a message uh, by clicking the link in the description. Let's talk about Tommy Lee and Ted Nugent. We told you yesterday about how Tommy Lee basically was called out by Ted Nugent and Ted Nugent was saying that he was being treated differently by the producers of the show on rock and roll road trip with Sammy Hagar. Basically the producers thought that he was a crazy person and they didn't want 
Sammy Hagar to really be around him. And he was pointing out, well, you know, they have no problem letting him do an episode with um, with good old Tommy Lee. And he said, the producers wouldn't let Sammy near me, even though he and I go way back. We're dear friends. They thought I was dangerous, that I'd come out with a machine gun or slaughter an innocent fawn on television. This is stupidity. I said, so your producers were afraid of me, but they did a show with Tommy Lee, who's a convicted felon, domestic violence, heroin addict. They're okay with that guy, but not the guy with the Ted Nugent camp for kids charity, teaching kids to be clean and sober. I said, Sammy, cold cock these sons of bitches and get out and let's do the show. So finally... They dangerously acquiesce, and we did the show. So apparently Tommy Lee saw this, and Tommy shared the following nice message about Ted Nugent. So you can see here he wrote, Ted Nugent? Is that guy even still alive? I thought he shot himself like 20 years ago, middle fingers up. And he basically posted the same message on his Instagram as well. And Tommy Lee is very different politically than Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent's on the right, Tommy Lee's on the left. They both are consumed by politics, so to speak. And um, yeah, they don't like each other. So I wanna know what you guys think. Who do you agree with, Tommy Lee or Ted Nugent? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you have something you wanna say about any of the shows, we'll keep it short today, but you can leave a message at the link in the description. Thanks so much for joining us today and every day at Rockfeed. Again, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. That's all for now, and I'll see you all very soon.